What's up, guys? Hope you guys have been out there building shit. Believe in what God gave you. Taking on new projects. Building, fixing, creating. Doing art. Whatever it might be. Find your skill sets. Find your strengths. Find your gifts, guys. Put them to use. Bless this world. Don't be sitting around idle. Don't be doing the devil's work. If you like hearing that kind of message, hit like and subscribe. So, today I just got a message from one of my buddies that uh, he wants to pick up this project truck. And, uh, you know, I'm a little bit nervous. I was hoping that it was local, you know, somewhere close. But uh, it's like an hour drive. But it's an opportunity to put the new tow truck to use. So, we're going to hit the road. What's up, YouTube? So, drove about an hour. Truck did actually really great. Um, it even pulls the hills actually a lot better than I was anticipating. Uh, it did get a little bit hot on some of the hills, but I still haven't closed off this. It got up to about eh, maybe 225-ish, which I consider a bit hot, but uh, it's still not overheating or nothing. It's not boiling it out or, you know, nothing like that. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm waiting on my buddy. He's come to look at uh, this truck here and uh, get it for a project and I'm helping him get it home so I'm gonna get that truck hooked up once he gets here and uh, we'll get it drug home alright guys get you guys a little bit of footage from it driving still got that truck on the back temperature's doing really good actually with a load on it I thought it was going to be up a little higher. It's basically uh, right around where it was when I came uh, empty. Um, I'm doing about 60 right now. High gear, high gear in the rear end. Just getting it, letting her eat. Wouldn't be bad to have a stereo in here. But I guess then YouTube would get mad at me. I don't really make no money off YouTube anyways. So, uh, it's not like they can de demonetize me or whatever. I, I don't even get no monetized. So. I was really nervous taking this on its first trip. You know, this is like an hour drive each way. And, uh, you know, I was real nervous about it. I know this motor because I put it, I, you know, it was in my U-Haul for, you know, I, I drove that truck for a few years. But the rest of this truck, I really didn't know. I was pretty nervous too. I, well, I, I wouldn't even call it nervous. I I guess I had a heart attack. I went to take off with this uh, truck on here. First time I had a load on her. And uh, went to take off. I couldn't shift gears. Wouldn't shift into second. Wouldn't, felt like the, the lever was just locked. The, the shift lever. Well, I, I forgot to shut off the PTO. So when the PTO is engaged, it, it doesn't allow it to shift, I guess, very easy. It just leaves it there. It's kind of weird. But uh, lesson learned there, guys. Better pull in for some fuel. That's what my gauge says. But we know that's not right. What's up, guys? Put on my uniform so I can go in here and get gas. Gonna go ahead and check the straps and, and make sure that everything's good and I'll uh, get some diesel in here. Alright guys, so 
Take a U-turn. Alright YouTube, so got all disconnected. Uh, we'll show you guys the truck. Not a bad looking truck. Not a bad first tow. Show you guys the interior. It's not horrible. It's simple, clean, old school. There you go, guys. All right, guys. Rather uneventful trip. I kind of like the truck. It's pretty cool. He's gonna do a project with it. I remember like the gas monkey version. Remember that one? They put the Crown Vic front end and. I think it was a Chevy motor, but I, I don't really remember for sure. But uh, made it kind of rat rotty, patina. I, I I really like that that one. So we'll see what my buddy end up, ends up doing with this one. Uh, I didn't mind using the L arms. I was hoping to get my scoops, you know, the mounts and stuff fixed. I guess that's on another video that I didn't uh, upload yet. But it was going through uh, the tow equipment, and making sure that I was ready to do something. But uh, one of my uh, scoop brackets is bent, so I need one of those. And so I was a little bit disappointed I'm, I'm using the L-arms, but they ended up working out just fine. 
So, anyways, guys, hit like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video.